Hello everyone, welcome to Back to Code. Today we're going to learn how to create a GitHub repository, then install GitHub in our computer, create a Unity project and add it to our repository. First of all, you're going to be needing a GitHub account. So if you don't have one, sign up and go through all the instructions they give you. Once you're signed in, to create a new repository, just click on github.com and you can create here in this button new and just give name to your repository so unity project you can add a description if you want here you can put if it's public or private public means that anyone can see it private means that you choose who can see the repository you will be able to add people to your repository so I'm just going to put it private. And here, very important, you need to add a git ignore, the Unity one. So you just type Unity and create it. Now let's just create the repository. If you don't have GitHub Desktop installed, install it. Here I'm going to leave a link in the description. And then, well, sign in and go to this button here, Add, Clone Repository and search for the repository you just created. And choose where you want to put it and clone it. Now we can see with Show in Explorer that it's here in our desktop with the git ignore we asked for. Now let's create a Unity project. Just go to Unity Hub and create your new project. Now just put the name of whatever you want. Let's put Unity Project and put it anywhere on your computer. Now select whatever you want here and create. Once your Unity project was created, just close it up. And now go to the folder where it is in. You will see that many folders were created. Just select everything. Control copy or Control X. Just cut it out and put it in the repository. Paste it. Now go to your Unity Hub and you can remove this project from the list and open your repository. And that's it. Now just code and always check that your git ignore is functioning correctly. You shouldn't have anything that is in the logs folder or or that is in the user settings or the library. Remember to always put the git ignore because if not, all, everything will be uploaded to your GitHub and there will be files that are really big and you won't be able to upload them and you will have many, many, many problems. So always have the git ignore in your project. Like and subscribe for more.